Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. My name is Dan Carver. I'm based out of Colorado State University, and I've been supporting this VITUS conservation effort uh, over the past about year and a half. Um, what we're asking of you all today and what I hope brought you here in the first place is we are looking for volunteers to help contribute to the current conservation assessments of North American vitus species. Uh, what specifically we're asking for is an evaluation of our county level maps. Uh, we created these maps by pulling in most easily available uh, data sources on vitus from herbarium, uh, observational locations like um, iNaturalist, as well as some gene bank records uh, and specific collections from uh, breeders. We brought that all into a website platform that allows you to see, filter, and kind of interpret that data, both in spatial and uh, tabular data format. And the goal is that we can, as a community, evaluate what points are uh, well set and representative good capture of the species and which points might be um, poorly representative, uh, misclassified, or um, just outright incorrect. So end goal here is that peer review process allows us to put together a fairly updated uh, and comprehensive look at where these species exist at the county level. The point observation data from this will be the training data set for a modeling process where we're developed uh, predicted species distributions of these species as well um, and run a full uh, gap analysis approach. Um, if you're interested in this and you'd like to hear more for the project, please continue to reach out. Um, myself, Anne Francis, Colin Corey are all supporting this work and uh, it's great to have you involved in contributing. So with that, I will take my face off the screen and we'll take a look at one of these maps. So this website is still under some minor development, so it might not look exactly as it does now by the time you're evaluating, uh, but the maps and the functionality of the maps will not be all that different. Uh, we're looking at a subset of the Vitus genera. Uh, these are all the native species for North America. Um, if you have taxonomic questions, you can always contact Anne Francis with those. So let's take a look at Arizona. So this is a web page. Uh, it's static. So you can interact with the maps and the tables, but you're not going to break anything on here. So um, don't worry about hitting the delete button or things like that. There's a lot of information because we've pulled together <laughs> quite a bit of information to get these. Um, and if you are uh, really contemplating using doing the evaluation here, please check out our registration form. Um, this will give you a opportunity to uh, state your affiliation and then also would you like to be acknowledged in the publications resulting from this effort. Uh, we do want to give credit to those who contribute. So um, this is a great first step to make sure that happens for you. Um, we have some supporting data sets here. So this is a CSV uh, downloadable data set of all the input data for all the species. Uh, it is filtered, but there's still over 100,000 uh, records that we considered to put together these county maps and the portion of those per species varies. Uh, we also have listings of where USDA plants and bone app records occur um, specifically. So, the goal of this uh, walkthrough today is not necessarily to describe the evaluation process in full detail. I'm happy to meet with people individually if those are specific questions come up. But I want to showcase a lot of the functionality of the website and the map. And hopefully that gives you the, um, the feeling of empowerment that you can come in here and start evaluating on your own. So uh, we have details on the taxonomic concept uh, for each species. You notice the map, we have a fairly extensive legend here. Um, you can toggle these features on and off by clicking. And then if you're ever confused about what these things mean, we provided a uh, hopefully plain language description of what each layer is under the details on maps tab. There's also a very generalized uh, description of uh, the methods to pull this together. Um, by no means complete, but uh, that 
full text will be coming out uh, in association with the publications. So let's look at the map itself. Um, we do expect the map to be a um, pretty essential tool for the evaluation. If you're super familiar with the species, so this is Arizonica, um, you may be able to just look at this potential distribution. This is a uh, this top layer here is showing counties with a record. So it's either a lat long collected herbarium observation point uh, recorded within that county or a county and state name recorded in the locality information um, that we've been able to link to the object on the map. So you may be able to come in here and say this is uh, too far northwest for this species range. Um, and if you know that, and if you're comfortable with that, uh, then you can click on the county, you get a pop-up of what information is here. Uh, there's basically one herbarium record, it's before 1970. Um, and if you want to report an issue, you click on a form, and that brings you to a Google form. Um, here, please follow the instructions, but we need a name and email if this is your first time completing it. And then most importantly, a suggested option. So you can either add counties or you can exclude or just put a questionable mark that will um, allow us to further evaluate later on. Um, and then go on and complete what is described here. So um, identification geo-referenced. Hopefully this all makes sense. Comment is open-ended. So if you want to just describe something, that'd be great. Um, these bottom options are auto-populated from the map, so we get the unique ID for the county that you're talking about. So that way we, we know specifically what you selected on the map. Um, so we could tie it back to that directly without you recording any specific information. So please don't alter these because um, that will cause some referencing problems. So <laughs> uh, leave it at comments, um, whatever you want to say about the species, and then press submit. So that will go to a spreadsheet. And during the evaluation phase, um, let me jump back to Acerfolia here. Once a week, we're going to be taking all of those suggestions and we're going to be rerunning our maps. So in this case, this is just an example, but um, this is a someone, a user evaluated this county, thought it was questionable, uh, left that note, and then it shows up differently on the map. So then. If people come through, review the species afterwards, they'll be able to see where you've made that contribution um, as well. So a good way to kind of build in that feedback as this uh, review process gets around. So again, if you know just outright species distribution and where things are wrong, um, that's great. Uh, but you might want to dive a little bit deeper into understanding uh, what kind of data is supporting this. So we tried to give quite a bit of options for layers on the side here. So counties with a record, so this is just a binary, like is there something present or not? You can also look at the total number of records within a county. Um, this is inclusive of observation data. So this is iNaturalist, herbarium, germplasm, and written records from herbarium and germplasm as well. Uh, as USDA plants, BONAP, and NatureServe. So this map's nice because it gives you, you know, there does seem to be a core area where there's a lot of observations of the species, and then these fringe um, sides where there's less and less. Um, you can also look at counties where there's only USDA plants listed as a source, uh, counties with herbarium and geroplasm records, um, and counties with only observational data, which this species has none. So if we turn this back on and then you start to zoom in on, what is this, Lubbock County, Texas. Um, you think this might be a little bit suspect, but you want to evaluate a bit more. So it's listed in BONAP. There are a total of three herbarium records recorded. Uh, two of those records occurred between 1970. Um, doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that maybe there's been uh, enough ecological change or um, taxonomic changes that um, there's something more to consider or evaluate with these records. And that gives us a total of four records. So bone app counts as one, three herbarium records count as one. 
So we can look at these in more detail by adding our point data. So we know there's no germplasm in here, um, but you can see germplasm locations for the species. Actually pretty well collected for the vitus genera. Um, you can also turn on herbarium records where there is a web UR present. So these points, if we select it here, they're going to have an external reference. So this is information about the herbarium record. We pulled it from Sinet. Here's a record ID that you can look up on Sinet. It came from the year 1934. And if we view this, it takes you to a link to that page. Um, so you could see who initially collected, um, when that occurred, where it's part of, um, and then in many cases, see the actual image. If you saw this and you felt like that was a poorly classified point, you can also report, report issues on the points themselves. So that will bring you to the same form as before, uh, same questions and drop downs as the county level. Um, but in this case, we are gathering information on the record ID for the point. So this allows us to go back through and exclude that specific observation. So you know, in this case, maybe Lubbock County is good. That is should be considered part of the distribution, but this record shouldn't. Um, we also have herbarium records without a web URL. So here we're pulling information um, from a different source, uh, trying to populate as much as we can in the pop-up for that locality. Um, if you notice, it says here that there's three herbarium records, but we only have two unique points that are popping up in that county. Um, so if you want to evaluate that further, we have to go down to the tables. So there's two things we can look at here. So there's a summary of the occurrence data itself, and there's also a summary table for the county. Uh, this is going to look very similar to uh, what we see in the pop-up when we select the county, um, but we were looking for Lubbock. So it's showing three herbarium records, two pre-1970, it's listed in Bonap, and then there's four. Um, so this is another way where if you're familiar with a county, um, I'm not, but if you were just curious for a wide range of species, if a particular county showed up, you can find it here if it's unclear for you how to find it on the map. Um, what might be more informative is searching the occurrence data itself. So again, this is a um, this is data filtered for Arizonica on this table. Um, so we were looking for Lubbock. Kind of doubt there's many Lubbock counties out there. Um, so yeah, they're all from Texas, and this table, there, there's some duplication that I'm noticing. Um, I'll try to get this resolved, but same source ID, um, same data set. Uh, so these are probably duplicate records. That's better accounted for on the map than it is at the table at this point. Um, so hopefully something I could fix. Someone says there's three here, but um, anyway, getting besides the point. What you can see here is where are the three records? Um, so Texas Buffalo Springs, unique ID, here's the year, um, and then the source ID. Uh, so again, you can go back to try to find these either on GBIF or Sinet. Um, and again, this is a place where we might see some duplication um, between data sources. We did try to clean this up as best we can, but it's a pretty difficult uh, thing to, um, we'd like to give users, we erred on the side of caution. So having duplication here allows a human who knows something to evaluate this and make that call for this species specific um, versus forcing the computer to exclude things um, just based on, you know, collection year uh, and county location. So, um, Sorry, long tangent about details that are not important. Um, <laughs> getting back to the map. Um, so 
But hopefully that information affords you the opportunity to evaluate some of these distributions. So looking at the county, is this good or not? Yes or no? Um, and give some clarity as to should this be the new official range map of Arizona or should it be trimmed down a little or added to? Um, you know, this looks a little strange to me that there's this county doesn't have any. It might be the case. Uh, but this is also something where you can report and say that, um, you know, maybe we should include this county based on what we've seen, even though there's no herbarium or no observational data there. Um, yeah, your suggestion to make. So the last thing we want to note is that when a species is um, included in the flora of North America, uh, we've used their state level filter to um, drop out any records that were not in states listed by FNA. So for Arizona, Florida, North America, described Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Utah, and Nevada. In our grab of data from all over, we have records from Mississippi, Colorado, Idaho, New York, New Jersey, Oklahoma, down into Mexico and so on. So there's a lot more um, locations uh, that were excluded by our state level filter. Um, we did try to provide some information on these. And if there's uh, a reason that we should consider this, so go against the state level classification and say that, uh, you know, this record in Mississippi is valid and correct, uh, you can also report that on the form. Um, this is not as nice as a hyperlink, but again, we same information. You could say include uh, other, whatever you want, and we record uh, that unique record for that point. Um, so we can always tie it back to that specific suggestion. OK. Um, yeah, as I said before, these are. Uh, safe to mess around with and click. Uh, nothing's going to break by what you're selecting. You can add layers. Um, adding the layers on and off will put them on top or bottom. So if you have multiple layers, um, you can use the toggle here to remove to get your uh, specific view of the map that you're interested in. So here are all the counties, but then highlighting the counties where there's um, no herbarium records uh, through our observation or pulling of data, um, germplasm observations. It's only referenced in this case, USDA plans. So uh, with that, again, just thank you for your time. Really appreciate your uh, willingness and interest in contributing to this national conservation assessment. Uh, this is a a new platform for evaluation and getting feedback on the spatial occurrences of a species. So it'd be really great to hear your impression, uh, how easy it was to use, what were your hangups, uh, and so on. And again, if you do have questions on the work or you need a little bit more of a walkthrough on how to engage with the tool, uh, I'm happy to meet one-on-one -on -one, uh, to help get these reviews uh, moving. So again, Thank you, and uh, I hope this is an enjoyable and uh, pleasant experience for you. All right. Have a good day.